All right, man, we are live. Here we go. This is going to be the YouTube video that gets a hundred thousand views. Right here, buddy. This is the video. Okay, here we go. Hey everyone, Ken here with Swordfire X5 Media. Excited because today I want to talk a little bit about the DJI Avada 2. This is an FPV drone, which means it's a first person view drone, which means you are going to be wearing a headset while flying it. We'll get to that in a few minutes. Um, I want to talk about all the items that came with the drone uh, and kind of give you my experience and my review of them. Now, I just do want to let you guys know that I am a beginner FPV pilot. pilot. Uh, I've been flying drone now for a little over a year, but this is all new to me, the FPV thing. This is my first FPV drone. So we're gonna talk about the drone, we're gonna talk about the controller, we're gonna talk about the headset and the batteries. Now, I'm not an expert, but this is my take on things, and let's start with the headset itself. The headset um, I find is very comfortable. Uh, I like the antennas, I like the look of it. It is pretty cool. They added this feature uh, to this headset where there's actually cameras in the front of it. And if you double tap the side of the headset, you can see what's in front of you without taking off the headset. Um, the screen inside is uh, super high definition. You know, it, it feels like you are in the cockpit. It is just fascinating to me, um, you know, what they can do with technology nowadays and uh, how fun they really have made it. But the only downside to this uh, headset that I've found or experienced, and maybe other flyers out there have experienced this as well, but is really the heat that comes off of the headset. Uh, you know, I'll be wearing this headset for you know 15 20 minutes while I'm flying my drone and after 10 15 minutes you know you really start to feel a warm you know around the edges of the headset mostly on the forehead and I understand there's a lot of electronics in there there's a lot of things going on um, but you know that is the only downside or complaint I have about this headset and maybe that's uh, you know the case on the Avada One as well. I really don't know because this is you know the only experience I have is really the past four days with this drone. So moving on to the controller, this controller is really cool. I love that you can hold it like you're actually holding the joystick in an airplane or a helicopter, and it is v very responsive from what I've found. I've had it in uh, beginner mode and normal mode. I have not yet put the drone in sport mode, um, which will do the uh, 60 miles an hour, I believe. But um, I found that the trigger is super easy, super smooth, it's right there. Um, so yeah, that is the controller for the drone. Now let's talk about, before we get to the drone itself, let's talk about the battery pack. So the battery pack, I went with the Fly More Combo Kit. Um, is, these batteries are nice. They slide right into the drone from the back. Boom, there it is. It's ready to rock. And the only complaint I have about this is DJI claims that a battery can be charged from zero to 100% in about 45 minutes using a fast charger. Now, I haven't verified um, you know, how many amps exactly my fast chargers are, but I found this decharging to be a little slow. Uh, I was like, kind of disappointed. When I first got it out of the box, I plugged it in, USB-C port, and it took about three hours for the first battery to go from half charge to full charge. So uh, that's the only downside I've found with that is it's taking me uh, a little longer to charge them, but the battery pack itself will charge the batteries. Um, there's a mode on here actually, which if you turn the battery pack on, um, it will find which battery is lowest and it will draw from the batteries. It'll select it and try to get you back up in the air faster, basically. Um, so that is the battery pack. Now let's get to the drone itself. Um, this thing is absolutely awesome. Uh, 
that's got a pretty cool nice camera on here it's pretty nice i don't know the specs off the top of my head but i believe it beats the mavic air 2 which is what you see behind me here uh still a great drone still love this drone but uh you know it's always cool to have a different camera to get different different shots so um the other feature i love about this drone and which has made it very appealing to me is the protected blades so uh, you can actually fly this through the woods i've flown this indoors a little bit and if you bump bump if you bump off of something you know you're not going to destroy your drone uh, if you accidentally bump into a tree or something but uh, you know, the flight experience has been phenomenal. I took it off a of beginner mode about the first 10 minutes that I was flying it. And I was quickly uh, finding that I was able to go between trees, um, make hard turns. And I also wanted to get the elevation with it and took it up to the maximum 400 feet, which was pretty cool. That is when I started to feel like I was flying a fighter jet. Um, I dive bombed it from about 400 feet, which was really cool. Um, so yeah, I mean, overall, the experience I've had with this and my review of it is this is probably the coolest thing on the market since freaking pizza, man. This is, um, you know, quite the piece of equipment. So I'm excited to see what kind of shots I'll be able to capture in the future. And if you're thinking about picking one of these up, um, I highly recommend it. If you're thinking about making a jump from the Avada 1 to the Avada 2, I can't really tell you what to do, but I will tell you that this drone does not disappoint. Also, want to throw in real quick that this drone is quiet. Um, it's not like silent, but it is really quiet. I've listened to videos of the Avada 1 on how loud they are, and I guess DJI really took it up a notch by quieting this thing down. So. Um, yeah, that's really my last input on that drone. If you guys have any questions, uh, feel free to drop them in the comments and you know, maybe I'll do another review as I get a little more experience in. I do wanna try the RC Controller 3, which allows you to do more acrobatic things like flip, um, you know, you can do backflips and barrel rolls and all the cool stuff, which let me throw in real quickly. You can do that. I have not done it yet, but you can do that with this drone. They have a quick acro mode and you hit it. And if you bump that joystick down, it'll do a backflip instantly. Forward is like, a, I don't think it does forward flips. Um, side to side or barrel rolls, but it does have cool uh, acrobat functions. Like I said, I haven't tried those yet, so I didn't mention it at first, but there you have it. That is the Avada 2. That is my three day review, four day review. And if you guys got questions, drop them in the comments. I'm excited to get this thing back out flying. It's a little windy out right now, but hopefully that'll stop and I can get back out in the air. Until next time, I will see you guys. This is Swordfire X5 out.